Okay, lesson 1-6, division as repeated subtraction. Okay, so this is kind of a tricky one, and it's just meant to teach you truly what division is, but understand that this is kind of a hard way to go about doing it. But, but it's not hard, it just takes a long time to do it. But it does help you truly understand what division really means, but it's not like a long-term strategy that we're gonna use to figure out division, okay? So if it's a little confusing to you, I don't want you to worry about that, okay? It's just, it's just one way to kind of look at it. Okay, so when dividing, you use sub repeated subtraction to find the number of equal groups when you know the total, the number in each group. So Jason has 12 plums. He puts three plums in each bowl. Remember, circle your numbers and then find your question mark and underline your question mark. How many bowls does Jason fill? Okay, so normally we draw like the total number of bowls and then we try to figure out how many each bowl. It's a little different. We have 12 plums. We're gonna put three plums in each bowl. How many bowls do we need? So we kind of have to work backwards a little bit. We have a total of, of 12 plums. So write that. Let's draw a bowl and we're gonna put three in there right? Because that's how many plums go in that bowl. So how many do we have left? How many plums do we have left? Okay, if we have 12 and we take away these three, we have nine, right? So now let's let's start with our nine and then we can kind of do it go like this, right? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So we have 12 plums. We put three of them in that bowl, so we still have nine left, right? So if I draw my next bowl, I put three in there, that's those three, how many do I have left? Nine, take away three is six, right? Now I draw my next bowl, I'm gonna put three in there, that takes away those three, how many do I have left? Six minus the three is three. So now I have three left, I draw another bowl, put those three in there, how many do I have left? Zero. So when we reach zero, we know we're at the end of our division and repeated subtraction. So I subtracted three how many times? You need to count your subtraction signs. How many times do you subtract three? One, two, three, four. Okay, we subtracted it four times. So if I had 12 plums and I took, divided it into groups of three, how many groups do I have? Four, okay, so how many bowls can I fill with three plums each? Four bowls, okay? All right, let's take a look at this one. Use repeated subtraction to find out how many groups of six are in 24, okay? So we have a total of 24. That's our grand, beautiful total that we're starting out with. We don't even know 24 what. I'm gonna go with 24 pieces of chocolate, okay? We're gonna have 24 pieces of chocolate and I'm gonna put them into groups of six, okay? So I'm gonna give some lucky friends six pieces of chocolate each, but I don't know how many friends I can give that to, but I'm gonna put them into groups of six and I'm gonna tie a pretty bow around them and then I'm gonna give them to my friends but I don't know how many friends to let know about this fun surprise. If I let too many people know, I'm not gonna have enough chocolates for them, okay? So I'm gonna start taking away my groups of six. So here is my beautiful stack of six chocolate bars with a pretty bow on top. It looks more like a tree on top, but that's my bow. Okay, so there's my chick six chocolate bars, right? So I started out 24, I took six away. So how many do I have left? 18, here I'm gonna draw my 24 chocolate bars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, okay? So here's, I start out with 24, 
There's my first, oops, six. Oh, I drew them in groups of four. Oops, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's how many are gone, okay? So how many do I have left? What's 24 minus six? You have to do it over here on the side. I would give yourself some more room because you have a lot of... Okay, so do that subtraction. Pause it and come back. Okay, that leaves you with 18. Oh, they gave you the answer. Okay, so now we have 18 left. I'm gonna make another beautiful stack of six chocolate bars with, let's see if we can do a better bow that time. Yeah. Okay, with another pretty bow on top. So there's another six. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm taking away another six. So what is 18 minus six? Okay, pause it and come back. So do that subtraction problem. Okay. That leaves us with 12. Okay, I'm gonna make another stack of six with my bow on top, I'm getting better. So I have 12, I'm gonna take away six. That leaves me with, oh, I gotta take away my six, one, two, three, four, five, six, that leaves me with six. Make one more stack with my six. And then I'm gonna take away my last six. Six minus six is zero, okay? Oops, I forgot to write these over here. 12 minus six is six, and six minus six is zero. So stop when we reach zero. All right, so how many groups of six are in 24? Four, and you can count your subtraction. One, two, three, four, there's four subtractions, okay? All right, Leah has 42 raisins. There are six raisins in each salad. How many salads are there? So we wanna find, okay, circle your numbers, there are 42 raisins, six raisins in each salad. How many salads are there? So 42 divided by six. Okay, I do not wanna draw 42 raisins, okay? But we are gonna to have to do the subtraction. So let's go to the back, okay? And when it's 42 divided by six, okay? That's a lot of subtraction. All right, so we're gonna do 42 minus six. We're gonna start out with 42 raisins and we're gonna make a salad bowl and we're gonna put six raisins in there, okay? You don't have to really draw the circles, you can just put a six. So we're gonna do 42, we're gonna take away six. I'm gonna give myself lots of room over here. 42 minus six, okay? Pause it, do the subtraction and pause it and come back. Remember, you have more on the floor, you need to go next door and get 10 more. So pause it. Okay, that should leave us with 36, right? So now I have 36 and I'm gonna take away another six. And there's six raisins there. So 36 minus six, you might be able to do that in your head. Oops, I could just go right from here. 36 minus six is 30, okay? I'm gonna draw another salad bowl and give myself six. So now I wanna do 30 minus six. Okay, might need to pause it and come back. That's gonna leave us 24. So 30 minus six is 24. Okay, now we're gonna do another six. So we have 24, we're gonna take away six. Okay, that's gonna leave us with 18. See, this is, I, I don't find this a great way to do this because it's very, it's just a lot of work, a lot of work. Okay, now we have 18 and we're gonna take away another six. Okay, it's gonna leave us with 12. We're gonna put out those 12, we're gonna put another six in there. It's gonna leave us with six. And then we're gonna draw another one. We have six minus six equals zero, okay? So now, let's see how many salad bowls did we put six in? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So 42 divided by six equals seven, okay? And if we counted our subtraction signs, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
We subtracted six. We started at 42 and we subtracted six seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which means we took away seven groups of six. That's really all they're trying to show you. Again, this is really a very long way to get to the answer, but it does show you that you are subtracting the same number. You are subtracting equal groups for division. So we're taking 42 and we're dividing them into groups of six. And when we do that, we have seven groups. Okay, so 42 divided into uh, groups of six is gonna get us seven in each group, okay, or seven, seven groups. Okay, good job.